coming to device management what is device management the traffic which is going from network administrator to the device we call it a management traffic like if you are sending anything to your router which is ending on your router which is ending on your switch which is ending on your firewall it means you want to configure their device we call their traffic management traffic like a telnet like a ssh like a snmp like a http like a https and so many other protocol you can use to configure your device so we call them device management because you want to send like through console as well because you are sending this traffic to configure the device the same like i open it by console now this is a management traffic i am sending and configuring the device now there are so many way to configure device <clears throat> the first one is console either we call them console port either we call them serial port this is we also call it out of band management in every cisco device you will find a console which will be written like this one if it is a router or switch or whatever ips ids asa firewall any device of cisco you will find a console it will be written like this one in blue normally this is a standard of cisco and this is the cable which we use for console there is rj45 to connect to that port and the other is to connect to your laptop because we don't have a serial so we are using converter serial to usb converter like this one so you have to put this female in this one and you have to put this one in usb and you can use so many tool for serial connectivity like this one putty like a secure crt in secure crt there is also console as well let me go to serial because there is no serial connectivity so it's showing me nothing and so many other tool like a putty kitty so many tool you can use to configure a device through console first time every cisco device you have to configure it by console cable this is called out of band management what is out of band between there is nobody else in this way this cable is you just connect and you connect to your device this you are directly talking to your device no data traffic is going between this one only your management traffic is going so that's why we call it out of band management as well if the network is down you are still connect to the device that's why we call them out of band management and this is the first method to configure any cisco router switches or firewall so initial configuration not only cisco by the way any device like a proxy any proxy like a blue code proxy like other devices like a wsa esa like other vendor fortigate palo alto we all configure first time through console this is a general overview of every device to configure them first time to assign a minimum ip to connect to the device so we call it a console either a serial and then when you configure first time a device then you can take access to this device so we call it a console now how to protect our console because anybody can come and plug the cable and can connect to your device and can do changes in the device so how we can protect this device by console so let me go to cisco sa so this is i am connected through console by the way let me come out from here by exit and exit it ask it, it not asking me anything because by default in any device there is no protection on console port how we can protect this one so my first management is console to protect them go to enable okay i think so we put any password so let me uh, one two three go to configuration now this is different from router and router which we do when we put console so we go to line console zero because there is only one port of console line console and we say password one two three and then we say login that's it 
so i protect my console and router you remember yeah you already studied in ccna let me go exit exit and it will ask me i cannot go inside look at now it's asking me that if you want to go through console inside the device type the password so i say one two three now i am into through console you will say, by the way console is normally cable so if i say show who here i am enter through console by the way so don't worry you will say you are logging through some in through secure crt and you say that i am logging through console yeah this is a console by the way so i secured my console and router why i'm telling you a router because when you know the router way then it will be easy for you to configure in cisco sa but you know this is only asking a password one two three not a username <clears throat> If I need a username, then I you first I need to create. I'm in router, okay? Don't worry. You have to watch out. I'm in router either in uh, Cisco SA. So in router, first we configure admin, then a password, <coughs> then we go to line console zero, then we say login local. When we type this command, so it override the password command. It means now we don't need only password. Local means check the local database. So we have only one user, which is admin. Now let me go out from here. Exit, exit. Now you will see us asking me the username as well. Before it was asking only password. So let me type admin and password is one two three. Now I'm logging through console. How I know who? It says that you are logging through console with admin user. Yeah, it's okay. Yes. So I have two way to protect my console and Cisco router using a username and password and using only a password. And the method is to go to line console zero and type here both the commands here. Now coming to router Cisco SA, it's different here. Here you have to type triple A authentication and there are so many method. The one which I'm looking is serial. So I say serial. Console. Here console means is a keyword. It's not a console. Here console means serial and console is a keyword. So don't confuse yourself with serial and console. Even though in real life we call them a console and serial, but unfortunately, in Cisco SA console is a keyword, not a command. Here the serial means console. So I know you will be confused at what the hell are you talking about, serial and console. But it will be clear after a while when we configure another management. And I said local. Same like uh, the one which we type here, login local. But here the command is that I want to enable authentication, authorization and accounting, authentication for console, check the local database. What is the local database? Let me create a user. So I say user and password is 123. So this thing is similar like a router. But going to line console 0 and then type this command, this is difference in Cisco SA. I type a command triple A authentication serial console local. Now let me go out. Exit, exit. Look at now it's asking me the username. I cannot log in. Cannot log in until I type admin and password is 123. Now I am logging to console. So I protect my console. This is the way to protect your console. A simple command create a username if you need to type the privileges you can type a privileges and the command is triple a authentication serial console and it will protect your console cable so if anybody coming to put this cable and plug and enable putty and click serial and connect it will not connect it will ask it to put the username and password and this and this what we want so it's done this is the way to 
protect your console and Cisco ASA.